Hi, so I really, really loved doing this week's column. Um, as you can see, it's about um, great products for under £10. Um, one of the questions I get asked all the time by women is, do you need to spend money on cosmetics? Is there a difference between expensive and cheap? And um, my answer is always, well, it depends what it is. And um, there is certainly fantastic products in a low price bracket that can more than hold their own, if not trump more expensive products. And there are certain categories of products that you can get away with really scrimping on. Um, there are a few rules I have. Many of you will disagree with me, I know, because you've told me in previous um, columns. Um, but nonetheless, this is based on my opinion, having tried a million products in my lifetime. Um, I absolutely think that you need to spend money on foundation. I don't like cheap foundation. I've never tried one that I like. You generally need to spend, in my opinion, about 20 quid on a foundation. Um, just because they feel more even, they look more fine. And you know, this is the entire basis of your makeup. So it's a big expanse of skin. It forms the basis of all the rest of your makeup. So you need a really, really good quality one. And in my opinion, that comes with spending money. The formulas are just finer. The colors are more convincing. There's, it, there's no comparison in my opinion. The other thing is perfume. Do not buy cheap perfume. In my opinion, I think it's nasty. Perfume is expensive to produce and cheap synthetic oils smell cheap and synthetic. If you want fine grade oils that smell um, natural, um, then you need to spend money on a perfume. That isn't to say that all expensive perfume smells nice, far from it, but all cheap perfume, in my opinion, smells cheap. Um, however, there are an awful lot of things that I do um, that I do buy very cheaply. I'm a big one for cheap body care. You'll never see me spending 30 quid on a body cream and I wouldn't expect you to either. I use this um, Neutrogena um, body lotion. I've been using it forever. It's been called about three different things so far, but I'm still sticking with it. It's absolutely brilliant if you have very dehydrated skin. But I also like, um, generally favor cheap moisturizing body wash. I just feel cleaner with lots of lather and the more expensive ones tend to be purer and don't have as much lather. And I can see why that's a good thing, but I personally like a good lather. Um, I also love um, aqueous cream. If you have um, very sensitive skin and you find that um, soaps and cleansers irritate it, aqueous cream, you can get anywhere. It's dirt cheap. You can buy it in any chemist. And it's a water soluble cream that you just massage in. It looks like moisturizer, but you massage it in and then you rinse it off with water and it sort of emulsifies and takes your makeup off. It's excellent. It's also a really good moisturizer for after a shower. Deodorant. Um, in my experience, expensive deodorants are just rubbish. They don't, um, they, they don't work as antiperspirants. Um, they smell too much like perfume. I swear by Dove. Um, I've just got these from my own bathroom. I always wear Dove. Um, I like the smell and they work really well and they're dirt cheap. Um, Gillette razor. I always use a Gillette razor, always. Um, for shaving my legs, not interested in um, waxing, you just get a much better finish, I think, with a razor. Um, hair care, I'm the same again. I quite, I tend to um, prefer kind of mid-price brands from Boots, so I really love Trevor Sorby, um, which is where I get my hair cut, but it's, they're really lovely products for the price. You're talking about 3 99 to 5 99 for their products. John Frieda I like very much as well. I tend not to use 20 quid shampoos. Um, much as I love things like Kerastase, I tend to come back to things like Trevor, Trevor Sorby. Hair care as well boasts one of the all-time great bargain products, which is Elnet hairspray. Um, I don't even want to think about any other hairspray. Um, I can't believe that people spend 20 quid on a designer hairspray when Elnet for this massive bottle here. I think this is about 5 99 but you can get it starting from 1 99 It's just one of the all-time great beauty products. It is brilliant at what it does. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and it's so cheap. Um, I can't understand why you would buy anything else. I'm never without it. I've got cans all over the house. If you've got fine flyaway hair, it's absolutely indispensable. Um, Simple is another really cheap range that I'm mad about. I think all their products are very good. Um, Batiste, I'm a big fan of Batiste, as you will know by now. Um, 
There are many, many imitations of Batiste dry shampoo going up to 20, 30 pounds. Batiste is still the best. It's a quid. I want you know, why would you not buy that? Um, this is my makeup bag. I'm going to prove to you that I do use cheap makeup when it's right. Um, Lana Lips lip balm, amazing, six pounds. It's fantastic, love it. Um, I've got Maybelline um, Dream Touch Cream Blush, which I've only just started using a couple of weeks ago, and it's such a good cream blusher, really, really good. Um, I wear NARS as a powder blusher, but I'm really loving this in the summer, just over some tinted moisturiser, and that's like six quid or something. Um, this makeup brush, which is one of my favourites, I put my concealer on with it. This is from an art supply shop, and it was about two or three pounds, um, just from a... Um, a normal art suppliers whereas if you got that from a top makeup brand it would be about 25 pounds and again I've got all this mixed in with you know my creme de la mer concealer and you know um, my by Terry lip gloss and my Chantecaille lipsticks and my Bobbi Brown and everything it's all a question of, sort of mixing and matching Revlon just bitten lip stain so good so so good which very reasonably priced um, also, this Revlon lip gloss, which I'm wearing today, is um, papaya. That's really great. So I have just got, I've got loads and loads and loads of cheap stuff. I don't, I never rule out anything because you'll miss out on a really great product if you do that. So as much as I loved doing this column and picking my absolutely indispensable, amazing, world-beating, cheap products, the thing I'm most looking forward to is hearing what yours are because I'm always, always up for your recommendations and for trying new stuff. So please let me know what they are. Thanks very much. Bye.